In today's episode of Building Sites with Middleman series, we are going to be focusing on data files. So data files are kind of a database for, uh, for middlemen. As middlemen is a static site generator, so what you end up with is a static site. Sometimes you need to make some kind of list or something like that, that maybe you don't want to enter. You may want to give it to a client or a team member uh, just to fill out some data that you want to display on your site. So that's where the data files comes in. You can think of it as kind of a database for middlemen and you can of course output all that data onto your site. You don't have to render it like we do with the articles and so on. Okay, so let's look at the documentation for data files. As you can see, there isn't much of it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward process to get this going. So what we need to do, we need to make a data folder. So, and that data folder you have to make in uh, not the source, but in the root of your site. So let's make a new folder right here and call it data. So it must be called data because middleman is going to look for data files in that folder. Now, we wanna make a data file. Ma data files can be YAML files or JSON files. We're going to be dealing with YAML files right here, but uh, you can see at the bottom of this page how would the JSON file look like. So that's it. Okay, so we're, we're just going to do this example. We're going to create people.yaml. So, and I'm just going to copy all of this in it. Okay, save it and we're going to put it in the data folder and call it people. YML, people YML. Okay, save it. And as you can see, we now have our list of friends. So if we wanna output that list of friends, what we need to do, we need to go to our index.html ERB. So this is our site, okay. And I'm just going to do I'm just going to add a div called clear fix and then I'm going to uh, enter into for each loop ERB and now you do first of all you do data then you do people because people is the name of our file people dot and then if we look at this file we see we have a list of friends right here so Tom Dick and Harry okay so people and then friends dot each do and then we do a pipe right here and we'll call it friend so we're going, gonna call it friend and end this for each loop right here. Okay, so now if we wanna display our list of friends, uh, actually display our friends, we would just do so equal sign friend and that's it. Save it and if we refresh the page, we should get our list of friends right here. Just a second. Okay, so we want to have it down here. And I'm going to add um, just so you can see it better. Okay, a list of friends, add a PR tag right here, and one more, and I'm just going to add a, another BR tag right here. So they would stack up one under the other. So we have our list of friends right here. Okay, so this is the most basic example how you how you would use data files. Now we're going to do a some 
something a little bit more complicated. So let's say we want to make a list of movies. So the movie has a title, it has a director, it has actors, it has a movie poster and so on. So let's make a data file like that. So let's go to uh, our sublime text and do new file and just going we're just going to save it as movies.yml and of course we're going to save it into the data fol folder. So let's just save it and we do movies and then we do title and the title will be Inception. Inception. Then we will do, as you can see, I'm not putting this dash right here. So I'm going to uh, write director. Director, that's going to be my second. And I'm just going to copy it uh, from here. So Christopher Nolan is the director okay and then I'm going to do actors and we'll just copy this right here okay and I'm going to do a poster so movie poster I already uh, put the images for the uh, posters in the images folder in, in our source and it's going to be inception.jpg okay so let's do another movie and we now do a dash and do title so we're going to do dark knight okay I'm just going to copy this because I don't <laughs> know how to type <laughs> very well as you can see, title, director, also Christopher Nolan, actors, oh, we're just going to copy this out, and for the poster, we're going to do dark night.jpg okay save this so we have this yaml file okay so we added for every movie title director actors poster this title director actor and poster will allow us to call all of these values right here so you can look at this like kind of a, uh, an array with uh, some key va values key pair values so if we go to index.html I'm just going to copy this out and do list of movies so our uh, data file is called movies so we're going to do data movies and our array or whatever this is is also called movies so I'm going to do movies movies and now I'm going to write I'm just going to do ul li and so this is Emmet is just going to help me write no I didn't do that very well so it should be just like this okay so we have a ul with some li files in it and uh, I'm going to do a title title director and then actors 
and nothing here so we're going to have a move poster right here so for every movie we are going to have UI, uh, UL tag and some L LI tags in it so every movie is going to be a list of sorts ok let's just save this and refresh our site to see if everything is working ok it, seem, it seems it does so we have these key value pairs so what we can do right now first of all I'm not going to call this friend this variable I'm going to call it movie and then we just do erb movie dot so the title of the movie is going to be title okay and if we save it we, s we see that the title of the movie is inception and we do the same thing uh, for our other list items I'm just going to do a space right here so movie dot director and then movie dot actors okay if we refresh it we get this list right here so uh, and of course we can do images so I'm just going to do image tag image tag and the source for this image tag is going to be movie dot poster and we don't need any options okay and now we have this right here of course if we want we can do something like this uh, instead of calling image tag because our images are too large so instead of calling image tag we can just do like we did in the video about image manipulation we can just do this thumb tag right here so I'm just going to do thumb tag thumb tag and then we're going to do movie poster and I don't know it's going to be 200 by whatever so if we refresh the site now we get the posters for the movies uh, 200 by whatever <laughs> whatever the height is so it's going to be proportional okay so that's it for data files as you can see it's a very powerful option you can use it if you're working on a team so if you want to make these kinds of lists or you got pretty uh, big listings of sorts you can just give them to someone to fill these kind of files out and then you can just use that file like a database and output it on your site so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to take this site and deploy it on the internet we're going to build it and deploy it somewhere on some server so the people can see what we did uh, it's also going to be the last video in this series so thank you guys for watching uh, if you like this video or the videos before it please like them uh, you can also subscribe to this channel if you want uh, to get latest video updates also you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook thank you for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one